Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another fantastic episode of Let's Play Pokemon Soul Silver. This is episode number 28, and today we are going to be catching the legendary beast himself, Lugia, which should be a really fun adventure. Um, I have a really, really bad habit of accidentally killing legendaries, so hopefully it goes good. Um, yeah, I guess... The thumbnail will probably give it away, but I have been hosed in killing legendaries before. I am going to skip a little bit of, like, this intro to get here. Yeah, because it's, it's all dark and mysterious like that, and it's kind of a pain in the neck to make sure you get to the right spot. But eventually, if you go down or up and to the right, eventually you will find this little ladder here. I believe you have to battle this guy. Oh, no, he just he checks that you have the silver wing, which we have it we show it to him and he's like oh very good very good go ahead i'm like okay i'm gonna go in this one i don't really know where lugia is i honestly i always catch oho because i've always played gold i think right now i was just looking at on my phone like how to get to where we need to get to obviously lugia is going to be down there so we have to go down some stairs and make our way downtown as always like i always say and we got the pup here. She is enjoying the Let's Play as well today. Do you have anything to contribute, puppy dog? She says no. She just hopes that you're all having a snazzy week out there. And you can see here, I mentioned this in the, the previous video. I did take some time to grind. Um, so all my Pokemon are a little bit higher level. They're all here at like the late 30s. Which is good. That That's right where I want them at this section of the game, if I'm going to be honest. Um, going into the Elite Four, I'd like to see them all in the mid-40s, like 40 to 45, somewhere in that range would be really good. If we could get them a little bit higher, that would be terrific, but I, I think we'll be just fine mid-40s going through the Elite Four. I don't think it's going to be any sort of a problem on our end to do that. Um, yeah, it shouldn't take much effort to pull that off. But here we go, we got the Camino. Kimono, Kamino girls, I don't know. Kamino is a planet in Star Wars. I, I'm pretty sure that's where the Wookiees live. So I'm gonna go with Kimono girls. That that sounds more par for the course than Kamino. No, Kamino is where they, they build the, the clones in Star Wars, I believe. Is it Kashish? Is that where, uh, that's where the Wookiees live, maybe? I don't know really testing my Star Wars logic today. I actually know quite a bit, but... Oh well. I like Star Wars. Who cares? We got some cool song and dance going on. That's just the song that I associate with legendaries in this. I, d I don't think that's the song actually playing, but... Here he comes! Dum dum da da dum da da dum da dum 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 da da dum da da dum dum dum. He's not Bowser, but here he comes out of the water. The stud in all his glory. Wow, this uh, the screen does not do him any favors. We'll do something like that for the actual let's play thumbnail. I'm sure. Maybe like right there. He looks pretty cool. I don't know. It's kind of cool to get our character in with it too. So I'm sure we'll figure out something that works here. And we'll make that the thumbnail. Shouldn't be too hard. But there we go. She's like, can you catch him? And like I said, we already used the Master Ball. So that is kind of depressing. Um, yeah, I used the Master Ball to catch Raikou, which wasn't shown. In the Let's Play, unfortunately, as I stated last episode, it got cut because I didn't hit the save button when I was recording, which sucks because there's like two hours of filmed content and I was just going to put that into 10 minutes and that was going to be Tuesday's episode because there was a bunch of grinding and catching Lavatar and things like that, which we can't have in our party right now because we need Whirlpool to get here. But regardless, here we go. Let's go and catch him. There's a little bit of a jump there. Here we go. Can we catch Lugia? That is going to be the question. 
I believe we're starting out with uh, Zapper Man here. Yeah, I did go back and I just I wanted to check my team out and stuff like that, and then I had a phone call. So extra sensory. That's probably going to be pretty good. I think that's a psychic type move. Pretty sure it does a lot of damage. Yeah, it's a good chunk. Thunder Wave will cause paralysis so we can outspeed. My goal here with the paralysis too is it, it makes them easier to catch. So I'm thinking with either a discharge, that should do a good chunk of damage. It, as long as it doesn't get a critical hit, we shouldn't kill here. I'm getting scared. Okay. But now we're kind of in the position where I can't hit him again. So I'm just going to have to fling Pokeballs at him. I think we have Ultra Balls. So I think I'm just going to have to continuously throw Ultra Balls and hope that we get him. That's really all the logic I got for him at this point. I mean, he's already got Paralysis. His health is all the way down there. He doesn't have any healing moves that I'm aware of. And luckily, I don't think he has Thrash or anything like that where, like, it can cause confusion and hurt himself in confusion or he can have a move that hurts him while using it so i think we should be safe as long as our pokemon here can stay alive uh the good news here for shadow is that shadow has a lot of defensive like he, he, shadow's a defensive wall in a way so he should be able to tank like three good hits here hopefully we are under leveled so and a hydro pump is going to be super effective but it's going to have his special attack so he's gonna do more damage but yeah still we look like we're in good shape for three attacks there i'm not really worried about it and it's just it doesn't look like our odds are getting any better at catching him okay an extra sensory actually doesn't affect shadow that's good to know i keep forgetting that psychic abilities do not affect like a mono dark type and he keeps going for it why i don't know his move set must be pretty randomized because usually they look for the strongest move but if that move legitimately does no damage she's not going to get anywhere but with that being said here ladies and gentlemen we are approaching the end of the episode if you like this episode please feel free to like comment subscribe all that good stuff is greatly motivational for myself and continuing to make videos now just like this now and in the near future, we'll be playing this game here, Pokemon Soul Silver, on Tuesdays and Thursdays, and Kingdom Hearts 2 on Mondays and Wednesdays until we complete it. We are in good shape to finish up Kingdom Hearts 2 on Monday of this upcoming week, and then after that, we'll be moving to Halo Combat Evolved, so lots of good stuff on the channel to look forward to all around. See if we can catch Lugia. Please, dear God, have this one be it. Oh my God. Man, he is just... He is being tanky at this point. Not even tanky. Like, we could knock him out very easily and get a ton of EXP here. I'm really sure of that, but it that's not really the move. You always kind of want to catch the box art legendary. That's kind of the point. Plus, I'm pretty sure the Kimono Girls would be pretty upset if we killed Lugia after they just went through this whole process of reviving him. Kind of feels like a waste of everybody's time. Man, he's, he's not getting any easier to catch. He just keeps swinging. I gotta give him credit for that. That's pretty cool, but... Like, it's cool when you have a Pokemon that this, that's this powerful and just keeps coming at you time and time again, but it can also be a real headache, which is what it's turning out to be in this case. Like, it is just not fun to deal with. Another Hydro Pump. And we did have Rain Dance on there. Oh, yeah, wait. Our health is in shambles. We're gonna die. We still have four more Pokemon. I think I'm gonna switch into Gyarados here. That seems like a good move. Can we catch Lugia, man? It would be really nice, too. We only have a minute left in the episode, so obviously we either catch him or something happens here. I'll leave it up to the imagination. And he's out. God. Damn it. Man. It never gets any easier to catch these legendaries. You have to have a strong team in order to even walk in here. Because otherwise, they're either going to wipe the floor with you. Or you stand like a 0% chance of catching them. Because they, yeah. They'll either kill all your Pokemon. Or you'll end up having to kill it. Those are your two options. 
There we go. We caught Lugia. There we go. So we got Lugia and Raikou. We made contact with Entei, and I'm pretty sure there's a glitch in the system that once we make contact with him, we won't be able to anymore. And I think we have a guaranteed encounter with Sukun in this version, if I remember correctly. So we'll at least have two of the legendary dogs and Lugia. But with that being said, I hope you all enjoyed this episode, and I hope you all are having a snazzy week. We'll see you all here on the next one. We should be taking on some pre-Elite 4 stuff. Peace out, Girl Scout.